everyone, Rio here, back after a bit of a long hiatus, and today I'm going to be telling you how you can run 13 sign charts while Prometheus is down. What's Prometheus, you say? Have you ever used any sort of free chart generator that does 13 sign astrology? If you use these often, you will notice that none of them are working right now, and that is because the server for Capricorn Prometheus is down right now, which is the program that is underlying all of those free chart generators. It's been down for at least a month, and there's no real word on when it's going to be back up. But there is one other option, which is a program called Astro App, which you can get for $12.99 US a month. I've downloaded Astro App twice, um, and I haven't gotten very far because it's not immediately evident in the settings how to actually run 13 sign charts, even though it is a capability of this program. So I reached out to the community, and Kim from Raw Star Astrology, who I've had on the show before, said that she would get on a call with me and show me the ropes, which was super generous of her. And we filmed it so that everyone else can see how to do it for themselves. So without further ado, here we go. All right, here we go. Fantastic. So if you go to settings okay. and then default settings. Perfect. This is what's going to come up every time you go to draw a chart wheel. So I would put as, as a city, your own city and your own country. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, but that's okay. I can do that later. No problem. Okay, so mine's just set to natal. Um, okay. But that, that will, I suppose that will change with whatever, you know, chart wheels you're drawing out anyway. Mm -hmm. So you want it, which is a basic. Yeah, that's a good default. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I mean, um, a coordinate system, I've set mine to geocentric. Okay, yeah. And um, the house system, topocentric, polished, polishing in brackets. Okay, gotcha. And what's and topocentric so polish? What is, is this the 13 sign system? <laughs> No, this is just a, a side wheel chart wheel we're creating. And to be okay. honest, these set, I mean, geocentric and topocentric, I always use anyway. You know, I would always use, but I just really copied Eric's settings because I wanted our chart wheels to always come up to be the same. same. But I don't think it actually matters. But I do think in the default settings, like these particular ones are important. Okay. So, yeah, um, I mean, top of centric is top of centric. I, I'm not sure what polish means, but he just chose mm -hmm. that one. So for whatever reason that is. Okay. And top of centric just means it takes it from your specific location on the globe, right? Whereas geocentric is sort of just from the center? Well, yeah, geocentric is from the sen center, but topocentric is like the constellations looking down or, you know, Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. That's how I kind of felt it when um, he first, it's been quite a few years and mm -hmm. I'm pretty lazy with it all now and I'm not really technical either, so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I've just set the Zodiac as well um, mm -hmm. to custom. Okay. Oh, let's get back here. Custom. Okay. Yeah, so now you can um, just go to charts and press new. I'll show you the other settings in a while, but just press new. Okay. And you do just create a chart wheel now. Okay. You, I'm just you make it today. Uh, okay, sure. Ta da! Yay! Right. So now you've got your side wheel chart wheel up. Now you're going to convert it to a 13. Okay. So you go to traditions. Okay. And you've got the 13 oh. signs. Over there. Yeah. Okay. So the top three are in the 12th house system. So for anyone that prefers to use the 12th house system. Okay. Uh, the top three are the 12th house system. Okay, perfect. And then it'll just go by whatever house system you select in your defaults then. 
Yeah, well, okay. no, I mean, that's that's just to create the initial chart wheel. That's just the basic settings. Mm -hmm. So when you convert it, it will convert to the house settings of the chart wheel you're creating. So I don't mm -hmm. really know what it matters about, you know, it just really, I just, yeah, those settings, I think the default settings are more accurate to me. They're more accurate. Okay. So yeah, and then you just create your chart wheel from there. And you've got the 13 star sign ones. Um, you've got all different ones, so you could just play mm. with them all. Okay, awesome. Yeah, just um, play around. Friendly's got one there, I've got one, and you know, they've done a few. We had the top one, the 13 signs wheel. I think that was the original one that was put on Astro app. Okay. And then the Rainbow Zodiac, um, yeah, the Rainbow Zodiac was um, the one I used to work with, actually, when I used to work with the 12 power system. Okay. I love the yeah. Is there any that is whole sign 12 house? Is what, sorry? Like whole sign 12 house? Whole I mean, granted, you can just calculate that in your mind, but I'm just curious if anyone else is doing that, really. What, the 12th house? No, just like 13, um, like whole sign houses, just like signs as houses. Oh, right. I don't know. Mm, okay. Okay. Well, then we got these. Okay. Awesome. Well, thank you. Thank you for taking the time to show this to me today. I really appreciate it. No, that's fine. And, you, and the other settings, I think, are pretty kind of explanatory it's like mm -hmm. creating your colors of the planets and mm -hmm. okay all that. um yeah yeah it's just all like you know how you want your chart wheel to look really mm -hmm. it's more time and like you know on the aspects how many um degrees you want between aspects and all that okay well perfect well, this was this was much simpler than I realized. That's for sure. I got to the settings, yeah. and when I didn't see it I in know. the settings, I was like, "Oh no, what do I do?" <laughs> yeah. No, I think what it is with Astra, they cover so many different systems that when you first go into it, it's kind of overwhelming. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, um, I love that. You know, so and and the thirteen star sign astrology section is pretty limited. Do you know what I mean? I mean, you can get up a, pro a progress chart. You mm -hmm. can get a by will. Um, so you can you can do sinistry. You're saying? Is that what you, you mean? You could do a sin. Could do a sinistry. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, cool. So you, yeah. Once this, once you've got your thirteen will up, you can play around with it. But you'll find that you know the information on the right. That's yeah. all inside will, so that doesn't change to thirteen. So oh. it literally, it literally is only the chart will that you can change and adapt and go okay, into. Okay, so this is just all gonna be standard side reel. Side reel, yeah. The first chart you pulled up, that will be all the information for that chart. Oh, okay. So you just gotta pay attention here. Yeah. Not here, is what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I gotcha. But you can get the aspects up. So if you go to lists. Okay. If you go to lists and then you, oh, is it lists? Okay. Oh, no, details. I think you need to go to details. Okay, yeah. Then go down to aspects oh. and click on aspects and it will bring up the aspects if you, you know, because sometimes it's a little bit of a jumbo, isn't it? All, all the aspects. Yeah. Bit. So you'll get all the aspects come up there. Okay. All right, that's definitely super useful, especially with 13 sign, because you can't just eyeball it like you can with 12, right? Equal house, yeah. equal signs. Okay, awesome. Yeah. I mean, some people were really just great at getting into all the technical side mm -hmm. of it, you know. You're also, on more think, of the intuitive sort of side of things? Yeah, I'm more sort of like... Yeah, that's why I like to work with true astronomy because it's like mm. I'm just tuning into how the planets are all working together. You know, I'm more into how they're working and interacting with each other mm -hmm. and what degree they're at, you know. So, because I 
a bit of numerology comes into it as well. So yeah, we all have our own different ways of working and it's it's great because we've all got our own unique mm-hmm. way of doing things. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and that's what yeah. it, that's what makes it interesting is just playing around and and you know coming up with your own thing. I agree. I agree. Mm. Well, lovely. This was so much quicker than I expected it to be. Um, is yeah. there anything? Let me see. You said that we can do by wheels, right? Yeah. So here. if you go to Sinistry mm-hmm. uh, on by wheels, then the chart you've already got up, okay. you, that is your wheel that you're going to be working with. Mm-hmm. So you can to do a Bible, you just do the additional person or date. I see, and then they're just on the outside here. Yeah, so it's, that's what I'm saying. It's not like, I mean, Capricorn Prometheus is a, is a brilliant, actual, it's a brilliant program mm-hmm. if you want to buy it, you know? That's the if problem, though, right now, is that no one can. You can't buy it. No, the server is down. And because you, to buy it, it still, like, comes off of the server. Um, oh, right. The mine wouldn't be working either, then. Um, well, if you already have it downloaded and you've paid for it, then yeah. you're all well and good. But if you want to get it, like, all of the free charts are down. And even if you want to buy it, you can't right now. Oh. So that's part of why now is a very good time for us to do this video. <laughs> yeah. Okay. everyone's looking for some way to calculate a chart right oh i see because i thought they'd just taken down the free chart wheel i didn't realize the server was actually down you yeah know? no um he's rebuilding it as we speak i believe and okay sure how long it's gonna take so sort of in yeah. limbo a little ah okay mm-hmm. it's been a very hard industry to break into yeah the t- you know the 12 sign programmers it's been very hard to con like to get included just to be mm-hmm. included you know it seems so, like a lot more people are sort of like suddenly getting on board is that is that something that i just do you agree with that or is it happening slowly it's well for me it's been very slow mm-hmm. because it's been eight it's been eight years for me yeah you know um, but I have, I am seeing that, and that's why I always sort of hail out, hail out, you know, side wheel revolution, because, you know, it's really nice to see a movement grind, growing with 13 star sign astrology. Mm-hmm. Um, my life, the last few years have been crazy, so I haven't really been able to be full on as, mm-hmm. as I would normally. And, um, you know, but I've just been really happy to see the amount of people now becoming interested in it. Mm-hmm. And I know even like Walter Berg himself, you know, he said it's so gladdening to his heart to mm-hmm. see people are taking it up and becoming more interested in it in the Western world. Yeah. Well, he was pretty much the pioneer, hey? Yeah, I call him the godfather of a mm-hmm. <laughs> Did you want uh, launch the new website that we were talking about last time? Yeah, 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 it's up and running now. So awesome. yeah, that's why I'm bursting, you know, I'm bursting yeah. out of sunshine. I'm like, yay, yeah. I've got somewhere, I've got somewhere to land. A little and, home and, base. Yeah, I yeah. just, because I love writing as well and I haven't written for ages, so mm-hmm. yeah. That's exciting. Yeah. Okay, so what is it? If we want to visit it. Oh, right, it's um, rastar13.org. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Yay. Well, that's exciting. So, yeah. Yeah. And um, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, if there's anything else you need to know, but I'm sure you'll get your head around. Now you've got the basics up. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm sure, you'll get your head around the rest and play around with it. And, yeah, for sure. I can get in there uh, and, and do reach out to G, do reach out to Gene at Astro App and let him know that. You know, the more people that reach out to him and let him know that mm-hmm. they're using this system, not that he wouldn't see it anyways, you know, the more we can expand it and make it grow. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, you, know, sure. you know, the more 
programmers that um, incorporate it, the better for us. Mm -hmm. Big time. Mm. Big time. Then we'll have some more options when things like this happen and servers crash and so on. Yeah. And you've got a video coming up about the uh, Eclipse too, right? Is it up already? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I haven't done it yet, but I'm, I'm setting up um, to do that. Uh, so, um, yeah, I was going to do it today, funny enough, but I thought, well, this is really important because I know I've seen a lot of people kind of saying that they can't access a chart wheel. Mm -hmm. And I have to, I did promise last year that I would do a video on how to create a chart wheel. So now it's done. Thank you for Yay. giving me that kick. <laughs> My pleasure. Um, <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, it was lovely speaking to you. I hope you have an awesome night and I'll see you around. Yeah, definitely. I love your calendar, by the way. Oh, thank you. Yeah, hey. yeah it was a fun project. This is my first year. Um, this is my first year actually observing the 13 signs. So I'm curious if that experience, the calendar was done um, using the midpoint system. And I'm curious if after actually observing things, I'm going to end up switching to the IAU boundaries, but we'll see. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's, it's you finding your way with it, you know. Mm -hmm. And that's why I respect Walter Berg and Eric so much, because they just allowed me to find my own way with it. And I, mm. I just think that's the right way to go. Mm -hmm. yeah okay well awesome lovely talking to you and i will we'll talk again soon sometime take care bye bye there you have it folks that's how you run a chart in astro app it was actually pretty straightforward once kim told me what it is that i have to do it's a pretty quick conversation to figure out how to make that work and if you're curious about 13 sign astrology, at the moment, my books are closed till the new year. I'm booking into January. You can reach out to Kim. She's been doing this a long time. She knows what she's about, you know? Uh, I have some other offerings as well. I've made a true sidereal calendar that shows um, all of the planetary ingresses, which simply means when planets change sign, including the moon, so you can sort of at a glance see what sign the moon is in. It shows all the new and full moons, equinoxes, solstices, retrogrades, and all of the conjunctions. I'm going to start to get pretty, um, just way too much information for a calendar to include too many more aspects than that. But I find in my practice, I like to really keep an eye out for conjunctions anyways, because it's an opening of a new cycle with planets, right? So um, I'll put the links below both to um, Kim's website, my website, if you do want to book a reading with me going into January, and the links for the calendar. Um, I'm sold out of all of the printed ones, but you can get printable digital files and I'll put the link below for that. So if you liked this video, like and subscribe and I will see you soon.